Hello! Um, I'm going to be starting a series of videos where I take a look at classical literature and um, try to bring to light something that I've been noticing a lot lately with uh, my readings of various classics. Um, everything from Homer to Hamlet to even, you know, more modern works, you know, Harry Potter, as you've, <laughs> um, and Frankenstein, and, you know, what I come, you know, across, um, and what I've seen is that in a lot of the classics, those authors get, uh, get to get away with, a rather glaring literature no-nos, or, you know, or cheats, or things like that. Um, you, you see it a lot in amateur works, especially if, you know, you read fan fiction online, or, um, proposed novels, people with their early screenplays, things like that, and what I find is not so much that they're automatically wrong, but I do see where a lot of people, you know, get these considered bad tendencies from, because a lot of the classics that, you know, we read uh, in, in the Western canon have things that, with modern expectations of storytelling, are considered, you know, definite do-not-dos. Uh, things like Sophocles starting the play with a massive exposition dump of what's going on with the city and whatnot, and then at the end, uh, Oedipus just says, I already knew before you told me. Which, if you did that in a Star Trek episode, or in a current novel, or a movie, that would be seen as the worst kind of exposition, yet... Sophocles gets away with that, and uh, it's just, I, I kind of want to take a more a pitiable view of contemporary amateur writers, because it is kind of strange that old writers get away with these, get away with these cheats, these things that modern writers are not supposed to be able to do, and it's a weird kind of constraint that is evolved and changed as we've looked at literature and so I'm gonna make a series of videos kinda of, you know examining them one by one um, you know from Sophocles to you know Harry Potter um, so if you wanna see more just uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll be back soon